So, good morning class. Ang topic natin ngayon ay describing proportion. So, ito ay para sa week 5 ng ating module. So, bago tayo mag-describe ng proportion, let's have a short review. Remember, ratio compares two values. It can be written in two different ways. So, una... We have using colon, yung colon form, and yung pangalawa is fraction form. Okay? So, etong ratio kasi na to, parang lagi siyang, lagi siyang parte ng, ratio, ng proportion. So, pag walang ratio, walang proportion. So, lagi silang magkadugtong. Okay? So, example tayo ng ratio. Example, one teacher to five students. So, pag sinulat natin to using colon form, ay ganito siya. So, ang basa natin dito ay 1 is to 5. Yun yung tamang basa natin. 1 is to 5. Okay? So, consecutive lang naman yung pagsusulat ng number. Kung ano yung nauna dun sa ating given, yun yung una mong isusulat na number. Then, colon, and then yung pangalawang number or given sa problem. And, pwede rin tong isulat as, as fraction. Pwede siyang 1 fifth. Okay? So, using colon form, ganito. And then, fraction form is ganito naman siya. Now, what is a proportion? Proportion is a statement that would describe equality of two ratios. So, proportion, may equal sign na siya, and then on both sides of that equal sign ay ratio. Okay? So, it can be an expression of two equal fractions such as A over B equals C over D. A over B is a ratio, tapos C over D, it is also a ratio. So, in-equate sila sa isa't isa, therefore, proportion siya. Or, pwede siyang isulat in colon form, A is to B equals C is to D. Now, remember, meron tayong tinatawag na parts ng proportion. So, ito ay napag-aralan nyo na during elementary at ang, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, ito ay napahapyawan din sa inyo during lower years, grade 7 or grade 8. Now, si A over B equals C over D, meron tayong parts dito, yung means na dinatawag at yung extremes. Ang extremes natin dito, si A at saka si D. And then, ang means natin, si C at saka si B. Pag sinunat natin to in colon form, A is to B equals C is to D, ang means natin ay yung nasa loob. Yung dalawang uh, value na nasa loob pagitan ng equal sign. Ang extremes naman natin, yung dalawa na nasa magkabilang dulo. Okay? So, kailangan alam natin ito kasi gagamitin natin ito in solving a proportion. Dun, kung may unknown man dun sa proportion. Or, uh, gagamitin na din natin to para ma-identify natin kung ang, proportion, uh, kung ang given ratios ba ay proportion. Will form proportion. So, example... Ah, ito. Two ratios are said to be equal if the cross products of the ratios are equal. So, ito po ha. Kaya tayo may means at extremes. So, yung means at extremes na yan, minumultiply natin yung dalawang value in order for us to identify if the ratios are equal. So, example. Example. 6 over 9 or 6 is to 9. So, itong 6 is to 9 or 6 over 9 ay pwede natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term or i-simplify. Okay? So, ginagawa lang natin ito kapag ang numerator at denominator ay may number na pwedeng i-divide pareho sa kanila. Ito, ginagawa natin to para masimplify natin yung ating fraction or yung ratio. So, halimbawa kay 6 over 9, Anong number ba ang pwede nating ipang-divide kay 6 na pwede rin kay 9? Okay, tama kayo nang iniisip. So, si 6, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 3. Si 9, pwede rin natin siyang i-divide by 3. Okay? So, pag dinivide natin yan, 6 divided by 3 ay 2. This is equal to 2. At 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, ang lowest term ng 6 over 9 ay 2 third or 2 is to 3. 
So, eto na ngayon yung tinatawag natin na equivalent ratios. Bakit equivalent ratios? Kasi, nireduce lang natin sila sa lowest term, pero same pa din sila ng value. Okay? Nilitan lang natin yung number, pero yung bigat ng number, ng Uh, given na yon ay pareho lang din. Kaya ang tawag natin sa kanila ay equivalent ratios. And itong equivalent ratios na to ay tinatawag natin na proportion. Sila ay proportion sa isa't isa. So therefore, 6 is to 9 ay equal din kay 2 third. Okay? So 6 is to 9 is equal to 2 third or pwede natin niyang isulat as um, 6 is to 9 is equal to 2 is 2. 3. Okay? So, pwede pong kahit ano sa dalawa yung way ng pagsulat natin. Ngayon, para malaman natin kung talaga bang sila ay proportion, pwede nating i-multiply ang means at extremes. So, ayan. I-multiply lang natin yan. So, we have 6 times 3. Ayan, sila ang partner. At saka 2 times 9. 6 times 3 is 18 And 2 time times 9 ay 18 din. Kapag equal ang sagot sa left at sa right side, ibig sabihin sila ay proportion. Kapag dito naman, kapag kayong colon form naman yung minultiply natin, multiply means and extremes, this is 6 times 3 ay 18, at 9 times 2 ay 18 din. So, ibig sabihin, yung ratios natin ay nakaform ng proportion. Now, let's have this one. Try natin to. Tell if the given ratios form a proportion and know if not. So, may dalawa lang ako ditong given. Now, para ma-identify natin kung yung ratios natin will form a proportion, mumultiply lang natin si means at si extremes. Kapag equal ang sagot, ibig sabihin, the ratios will form proportion. So, let's have number one. 2 is to 8 equals... 5 is to 10. So, multiply natin si means at si extreme. So, 2 times 10, ayan yung extreme natin. At saka 8 times 5 yung ating means. 2 times 10 ay 40, uh, I mean 20, sorry. And 8 times 5 ay 40. Therefore, we have 20 equals 14. Equal ba ang lumabas dito na sagot? Hindi. Ibig sabihin, it is not An example of a proportion. Next natin, 9 is to 12 equals 6 is to 8. Multiply natin, 9, is 9 times 8 and 12 times 6. 9 times 8 is 72. 12 times 6 is also 72. Dahil equal ang lumabas na sagot, therefore, the ratios will form a proportion. It is an example of a proportion. So, ganun lang po yung uh, lesson natin about describing proportion. So, I hope naintindihan ninyo and also don't forget to like and subscribe!